Hi everyone, I'm Karen Cavett, and you are watching HGTV Handmade. So, as some of you might know, I love jigsaw puzzles, and I've actually started using some of my jigsaw puzzles in some of my craft projects. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a custom jigsaw puzzle guest book for a wedding. It's easier than you think. Let's get into it. So obviously, the first thing is to put together a jigsaw puzzle. I went with a 500 piece puzzle because the pieces are big enough for people to write their messages. You'll want to put the puzzle together on a piece of foam core so that you can pick it up and bring it outside to spray paint it. Do a couple light coats of white spray paint. together a design for the center. This is just an example that I made out of a stock illustration, but you can design your own to match your wedding colors and the vibe you're going for. Next, we're going to transfer it onto the puzzle by coloring in the entire back with a pencil. Use washi tape to lightly tape it onto the center, and then use a sharp pencil to trace all of the edges. When you pick up the paper, it's subtle, but your design will be transferred over. Now mix up some paints, and it's basically a paint by numbers at this point. If you don't want to paint, you could also just color it in with markers. Also, before anyone asks, the M in my design is not a real person. He is my fictional fiance because I thought the M looked the best next to the K in my design. Let the paint dry, and then that's everything you need to do before the wedding. At the wedding, put out permanent markers and have all of your guests use them to sign their names and write you little messages. After the wedding, be sure to spray the puzzle with a clear sealant to help the design stay put. And then for one final touch, you can also spray paint the puzzle box. I printed out a smaller version of the center design and I glued that right on top. Of course, you could frame the puzzle put together but I think it's more fun to carefully take it apart, and then you and your partner can put it back together every year on your anniversary. I think this is such a fun, unique idea that would be a hit at any wedding for any puzzle-obsessed couples. Even if you don't have a wedding coming up, you can totally use this technique to make any custom puzzle that you want. On my personal channel, I have a video about how to make a custom, colorful gradient puzzle, so I'm going to link that video right down below if you want even more inspiration for custom puzzles. I would love to know in a comment if any of you ever do puzzles, or what is your favorite puzzle that you've ever done. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for new DIYs every single week, and happy puzzling! Mm -hmm.